Hello and welcome to Career Ride. I'm Nishant and in this video I'm going to talk about future of web3 and its initiatives. I'm also going to talk about technologies like blockchain, DAO, NFTs, metaverse etc. And finally we'll talk about problems that web3 can solve and issues that web3 have to overcome. Well, it is very informative video so stay tuned till the end of the video and do write comments. Don't forget to hit like or subscribe button. All right, so let's start now. You know, Web 3.0 is a concept for the next generation of the internet. The internet is rapidly evolving to Web 3.0. It is a new phenomena and emerging really very fast. You know, between 1991 to 2004 was the age of Web 1.0, when the internet was a bunch of static web pages. People use it like a newspaper just for consuming content. There are no interactions. There are no means for users to provide information about them so that website could offer them better solutions. And from 2004 until now is what we are experiencing is Web 2.0. During these years, the internet has evolved a lot. Earlier, only we were consuming data, but now the web pages are also collecting data from us. The internet has become more interactive. The websites are collecting data from us in order to serve us better and keep us stay on their website for longer. They also sell collected data to the advertisers. You know the ad that Facebook, YouTube, Instagram etc showing us are based on the information that we have provided them. There is no doubt that Web2 has brought incredible technological progress but at the cost of our privacy. Today, whatever we post on Facebook, Instagram or search on Google, we leave information in the hands of these big companies. They sell our information to advertisers and make tons of money. You know, every day your apps or website are watching and collecting data about your interest, habits or behavior. And this way we have lost our privacy to the internet. And this is the major downside of Web 2.0. Today, a few big companies know everything about us, what we eat, which restaurant we visit, which place we visit, which car we drive, which phone we use. They know everything. And the worst part is that only a handful of companies control our data. Yes, the internet is highly centralized in the hand of big corporates like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, etc. And Google alone controls about more than 92% of search engine market worldwide which means Google collect most of our information and this is not a great situation to be in. Also, there is no ownership of data that you post on Facebook, Instagram or any other blogging websites. You have no control over your own content. Product and services are being developed in a centralized manner. Whatever you create, post or write, the company owns everything. They control and use everything in the manner they want. And if they want to ban you or censor you, they will do it. So finally, the time has come when the users should take power in their own hands. Therefore, the world is moving fast to Web3. And the main aim of Web3.0 is to make internet more decentralized and secured. Web3 is working to give ownership of data back to the end users. New technologies are emerging to prevent a few companies from controlling the internet. The Web3 initiatives such as blockchain, decentralized transaction systems, smart contracts, DAO that is decentralized autonomous organization, metaverse etc. will soon become our future and next evolution of the internet. And we will soon see the decentralized internet. Now let's talk about Web3 initiatives. And the first one is blockchain. Yes, blockchain has emerged as a promising technology. With blockchain technology, Web3 is ensuring decentralization and distributing the power. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum are getting quite popular. They are all powered by blockchain technology and soon they can become digital answer to currency. With cryptocurrencies, people can enjoy transparency, complete trust and full control of their financial assets. Also, we can see blockchain based decentralized video network social media platform, browser, etc. in future. They could be disruptive technologies but can create new market and benefit customers. And the next one is DAO. 
DO that is decentralized autonomous organization is a new type of LLC that is limited liability company. Yes, DO is not limited by government or family tradition. No CEO or president is the commanding body behind decisions. Here one central authority cannot censor anyone. And the decisions are made by majority votes or through a computer algorithm. But one big catch over here with DO is that it is not yet recognized as a legal entity. But things will definitely change in future. Now next one is NFTs. We are already experiencing exponential growth of NFTs. Yes, NFT is a non-fungible token. It is considered as the digital answer to internet collectibles like art, music, games. NFTs are cryptographic assets with unique identification codes and are based on blockchain technology. You know, NFT can digitally represent any asset. And the most significant use of NFTs today is digital art, collectibles, digital content, etc. Yes, content creators can see their profit increased by NFTs. Since they power a creator with ownership of their content, the original file will be available only with the owner having a token issued by NFT. Next is Metaverse. We will also see success of Metaverse. The Metaverse is a digital reality that can allow users to interact virtually. Initiatives have been taken to bring technologies like virtual reality, augmented reality, social media, online gaming, cryptocurrencies together to create a sense of virtual presence. You will see Metaverse will definitely change many sectors by introducing virtual reality based wearables. And Facebook is already working aggressively in this area. So Web3 can solve many problems of Web 2.0. And the main focus of Web3 is to make internet decentralized. Power should not be in few hands and should always be distributed. Users should be able to use anonymous identity on websites, thereby protect privacy. Web3 will be able to provide more security that would be impossible to hack. And we will also witness a self-governing structure where decisions would be taken by the users through voting. One central authority cannot censor someone. And we will also get uninterrupted service since data would be distributed over many computers. But Web3 technologies have not been accepted completely because there are many cons, drawbacks or issues that need to be addressed. There are many supporters for these emerging technologies, but there are arguments against them as well. Many feel that there will be regulation issues. They feel decentralization will make both monitoring and regulating Web3 more difficult. Old hardware will become useless. Current business will have to upgrade. Existing websites will require an update and many laws will need to be changed for security reasons. Despite few catches, Web3 technologies are growing exponentially. The issues will be addressed for sure in future and we will see next generation technologies emerging and making our lives simple and secured. And that's all for now. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you and see you next time.